This is a video showing how to export files from GIS Pro. Here we have a GIS Pro and down here in the lower left is the export universal export um, button for the iPad. And here we have a uh, KMZ Compact. Uh, this will export a file uh, KMZ which is a, a zipped KML. You may, you may hear the KML um, quite a bit. KMZ is just a compressed KML. Um, this, the KMZ Compact, will export the, export everything with smaller photos. So if you've taken large photos, it'll compress them before it puts them in there. This is an uncompressed um, files, so it's not, it has not compressed the photos. The GPX is for handheld GPS devices, so if you want to export um, points or lines into a GPS, um, a newer GPS unit, this is what you want to use. Uh, CSV is more or less you're exporting a table. Um, shape files, uh, to use an arc map, um, we'll go over each one, well, some of these um, here in a second. Shapefile with images, this exports the images along with the shapefile, um, puts it in a zip file. Both of these put them into a zip file and you've got to extract them on your desktop. The layer hierarchy, um, this will export um, all of these layers, but with no data on them. They'll just export the name of the layers, how it's set up, all the attributes, that kind of stuff but not actually the data itself. So let's do an export uh, KMZ Compact. Um, and for what we use, we don't email it. You can email it. Um, if you do have iTunes set up, you can do that. But what we're going to focus on is using Dropbox. So I'm going to export this whole map as a compact KMZ into um, my Dropbox so I can open it on my desktop. Or you can send it to someone else as well. So the destination, sorry, the destination, um, I've already got a folder set up in under my Dropbox. This is my Dropbox. And I've got a weighted examples folder in a folder called Jones and I'm going to drop it in there using choose and we can rename it here if you want to let's rename it um, project whoops you have to use the right keyboard to do this <laughs> done and then hit save up here and you see it's saving over here and we're gonna go this is on my desktop now and you'll see it is synchronized to my desktop I can open this directly into Google Earth now you can take this KMZ and put it anywhere you want to and in five ten years you'll be able to open it and actually look at it and nothing has changed and you can send this to someone and they can open it in ArcGIS Pro as well and you'll notice if we zoom in in this area that's what I had and the same things kinda ha can happen that's exporting a KMZ and we go back to the iPad now if you double click this button over here the home button twice well, if you actually double click it twice, you'll get the last programs that you've opened. We want to go back to GIS Pro, and this time we're going to go to export, but this time we're going to go um, the shapefile with images and shapefile are basically the same thing. I'm just going to do the images one, and it's going to have me choose which, one, which feature set that I want to export. Now, you can only do one, unlike the KMZ it exports the whole file, we can only do one feature set at a time. So what we're going to do, 
or feature class at a time. We're going to do the lagoon because that actually has an image. I already know that. And I'm going to open it in Dropbox. And again, it's asking me for the name, destination. I'm going to keep the same. And it has exported. Now, back to here. It's. Oh, there it is, right there. So you see it's in a zipped file here. So you cannot open, you cannot take this stuff directly into ArcMap. So you have to copy it out of the zip file. Just copy and paste it wherever you need to. I'm just pasting it right back into the um, folder we have here. You can paste it into a server folder wherever you want to paste it and now we have shape files and you'll see the images that came across as well so what I'm gonna do is drag that shape file over to my ArcMap project and you'll see all the ArcMap stuff so I can now zoom to that um, lagoon I see my lagoon if I click on it the ID tool I'll get my uh, information on that so all the description stuff is there um, the time it was taken the name of it and here you see the images that came across with it you can also see it all in the table with the images now that is how you export to um, Dropbox so you can use it on your uh, iPad. If you have any uh, questions, please feel free to email or call of us at the district.